Hi everyone, welcome to a Kojak Studios tutorial series. Today we're going to look at how to use a single frame and have multiple levels within that frame. So this is obviously useful if you uh, don't want to have to duplicate your code for different levels across multiple frames and you just want to be able to uh, use some form of variable to drive what level is open at the, same, at the time. So you know, it helps with refactoring. Okay, so jumping straight in, what we're going to look at here is just go to the top of the application and we're going to create, uh, we'll call it uh, level selected. So this is just the global variable that's going to determine uh, which level is selected, uh, which will tie into the frames at a later stage. So it doesn't matter uh, what that is at the moment, just make it a um, an integer. Okay, so looking at this uh, frame here, this is going to be the level selection screen. Uh, and then we want to create another frame, which will be the actual game itself and where the levels are. So on the level selection screen, simply want to create, doesn't matter what it is. And in fact, we can just make uh, use buttons. And we'll just call this level one. Just clone that. Level two. And why not? We'll do level three. Okay, so just jumping in the code for that. This is this is you can make this whatever you want. It, it really is um, just determining that if you click on this level, it's going to set the level selected to level one. We're just using that to drive the code later on. If you press level two, go ahead and uh, change that to level two. And if the user presses level three. The level three button. Uh, we will change that to level three. So as you can see, if the user clicks uh, the first button, it sets a global variable to level selected one, two, and three. All right. So simple as that. Uh, we don't need to, to do too much there. So what we will do is just make sure it jumps to the next frame for all of these. So. We're just setting when the user presses the button, sets the global variable, and then just jumps down to the engine. So that's our level selection. All pretty simple. Uh, when the user gets to the game now, this is where we want to get into the crux of the um, the level selection itself. So you might have a different type of platform. So we'll just make a platform game for this one. Um, so we're just going to create three layers. We're going to use layering for this. So three layers on the side here. You're going to have Essentially, the top layer, which is going to have your player object and, and all the objects that uh, uh, your you graphical user interface uh, and all the other game objects that are applicable to every level. So in this one, we're going to go ahead and create a player. We'll just make him inactive and we'll just call him player. And what we want to do is go ahead and change his movement to platform. This is just you know, to use as an example, nice and simple. All right, so at the moment, uh, we'll just go into the code and we'll just say if the player collides with a backdrop, then his movement will stop. And this just gives us a nice simple platform uh, platform game to start off with. All right, so we've got three three layers here. Uh, before I get started, sorry, go to the layer and insert the layer object. This is the key. So you want the layer object, uh, which will drive how we select our levels. So now we're just going to create our levels, nice and simple. So if you just hide using this little uh, eye icon here, and we're just going to create level one. So we'll just use some backdrop uh, objects for the actual platforms. Doesn't matter what they are. I'm not going to go and draw here. Uh, we'll just uh, copy and paste these around. And essentially, that's, that's level one. Uh, maybe put a... We'll just do a, let's have a look here. Um, create a background of some description, just so we know that there is a difference. Um, All right, doesn't really matter what that is. We'll just send that to the back. So then we, this is our uh, objects here. And I've just selected them and I'm just gonna make them an actual platform or an obstacle or a platform object. So 
they're going to need to be on the same layer. So this is this is the key. Um, we're going to have our la level set up here, but the object that's going to interact with them needs to be on the same la uh, same layer as uh, to create collision events. So to use multiple uh, use a single frame but for multiple levels, we need to move this object to the layer uh, that is the selected level at runtime. So uh, we can just do that as a starter frame. So just for example, you'll see here now, he falls through. That is because the player is on layer four and the level I'm using is uh, level one, for example. If I move that player to layer one, you'll see now the collision works. So what I want to do is just move him back to layer four, and I'm just doing that for example purposes. So we'll go into the code and we'll say, at the start of frame, I want to make sure that uh, the visibility for, correction, we're going to do it by index, the visibility for that layer being uh, level one. We'll just go back and double check that. Yep, so layer one is the level we want to show. And what we're saying here is at the start of the frame, show layer one. And that's basically saying show level one. We then want to hide the other layers. Hide uh, two. and three. So we're saying here, show level one, essentially, hide level two and hide level three. Now, like I said, that'll, that will show which level uh, we want to have. However, the object being the player must move to the relevant layer. So what you use here is the order and the move to layer. So start a frame, I need the player to move to The level that I want. So we're going to say level one here, and you'll see when I run it, he's at runtime, he's moved to level one. Right, so what is that? That works if you're using static variables. What we need is to use the level selection and tie all that in. So we'll just get rid of this and we'll say at the start of frame, I want to move to layer, and I'm going to say I'm going to get the global value of the level selected. So at the start of the frame, the player is going to move to whatever I selected up here in level selection. What I also want to do now is set it. So layers, index, visibility, and I want to show the same. So if I selected level one, level one is uh, is going to, to show up. Now what you might have to do here is a little, uh, a little bit of extra work. So Put in some other conditions. If uh, global variable is equal to one, if level selected is equal to two, or level selected is equal to three. Now, this is probably a more efficient way we can do this. But what we want to do now is say, if it's level one, we'll show um, that'll be the same for those. You'll show based on what level is selected, but you need to hide the other ones. So, very simply. Visibility will hide level two and visibility hide level three. So level one selected, we're gonna it'll show based on the variable, so that's dynamic, and then we're we're manipulating these other two ones. Visibility hide level one and we need to hide level three. So if level two selected, we're going to hide levels one and three, obviously. Um, layers, visibility, we're going to hide level one. Layers, visibility, we're going to hide level two. And level three will be selected. So very simply, start of the frame, we're going to move the player object to the level. Uh, and I'm saying level and layer as the same because we're, that's the way we're going to sort of talk about them in this instance. Then based on which variable is selected uh, or which level is selected from the selection screen, we're going to show that level and then hide the opposing two. So that way uh, we've only ever got one level loaded at the same time. So if I copy and just quickly do this. So he's 
three. Just change him to an obstacle. Cool, so the player will catch on that. And we'll do the same for three. So as I'm going along, just so I can maintain my levels here, I am just hiding the other layers as I'm going. And it's going to be green. All right, so what we've got here, we've got the orange level. Orange level down here. We then got the blue level and we then got the green level. Okay, so this can, when you're manipulating your levels, I, I suggest up and around on the layer um, window box here, you turn the other ones off so then you can play with that object and then when you want to use the other level, uh, change it and vice versa. So if we run our code now, what we should have is level one. Cool, that worked. I'll just restart the code again. If I go to level two, that worked. And if I go to level three, that worked as well. So as you can see, this is how we get um, can use a single frame with multiple levels configured for say a platform game uh, without having to have uh, to duplicate your code across multiple frames. And what this would mean is uh, when you're in here and this starts to get really busy uh, with all your, your game logic, you don't then need to uh, copy that down to the other areas. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Nice and simple. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to touch base uh, at CodeJack Studios on Twitter or www.codejackstudios.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook. Feel free to look us up and touch base. Thank you very much.